What's up YouTube and welcome to another part of Pokemon White, not Black, White. In this episode we're going to be heading to the Fertility Shrine to get the um, uh, flamethrower, I don't know what the letter, is, uh, the number is, and we're also going to fight some trainers. And hear a story about some legendary Pokemon called Landos, or Landos or something. So the Fertility Shrine is located north of... Well, above route, route 14. I'm not sure how to get there, but I'm sure I can find out. But a Pokemon like uses waterfall, it's, re it's really cool. They like throw you up past the waterfall. One of the best 3D graphics were in Pokemon Platinum, where you're in the Torn or whatever you call the world and you're using waterfall upside down it's, it's pretty confusing <coughs> so anyways I guess this is the wrong path so I'm gonna try a different path let's see route 14 route 14 and this is oh this is the next city okay I should head back How do you get there? Hmm. Or wait, maybe it's beside where that sage was? Um, I forgot what number it was. I think the fifth or fourth sage? I think it's where he is, maybe, because it sort of makes sense. Because everywhere they're split up, they're always split up in a place that you visited before, or you, it's an important place like the freezer, um, ancient castle, it all, it all makes sense. So let's try going to that sage place. So I guess I was surf. I had to surf here in order to get there. Can't go there. I think you can go around using this waterfall method. You go up this waterfall, and there'll be another waterfall on the other side. You can go down. And yep, it is. That's where the sage was. And that's that hiker that talks about there should be an ancient called mountain, so he doesn't have to hike up them all the time. And I guess this is the fertility shrine, and yes, it is. Wow, it's such a bright place. It's, and you had to go through like some dark hole to get there. And this guy's just gonna tell us a mini story about Landlows. Which is about basic up, up apparently granting a soil and here oh I missed the surfing spot or fishing spot but here's Team 35 flamethrower And here's another trainer. Compare whose Pokemon is better. Mine is. Wow, are you crazy? Why don't you just evolve your Caterpie to like a Beedrill or like a, a Butterfree? Pineco, why don't you evolve that to a Fortress? It's level 61. If you're trying to compare... Oh, Pineco is sturdy. If you're trying to compare Pokemon and none of them are evolved, how are you supposed to compare them? Of course, I'm going to have better ones. I have to beat the Pokemon League. Oh, never mind. Here's an evolved Pokemon, Masquerade. It's one of those butterfly Pokemon supposed to scare you with that flying feather thing there. And Pandora. I guess Pandora is a good Pokemon. Sort of. But who cares? Mew's level 90 and only 10 more levels. Till he levels up. I mean, till he becomes level 100. And I have like. I think I have a rare candy in my bag, so I can use that to get even more levels. Anyways, we beat this trainer, so let's go- Oh, another trainer. Let's just get this first, a Razor Fang. I've heard of Razor Claws. But anyways, we'll use another Max Repel, because I think one just ran out, and let's fight that trainer. I want to challenge you. Challenge me to what? Last Mackey. A Burmy! What the heck is that thing the guy swinging on? <laughs> it's made to make him look like he's swinging on something, but there really isn't anything he's swinging on. x I use x because it's super effective on grass. And I know my classic Pokemon. Tangle is a classic. Like, who would to think of creating a Pokemon that's like a tangled pieces of grass and then they just ruined it by some tanga growth thing like 
What the hell is Tiger Growth? Like some, like some monkey dude? And Yon, I guess Yon Mega is okay, but it sounds like some jet or an airplane or something. And Ladybug, Lady Den is amazing. I don't know why. It's just one of those Pokemon I loved when I was in, when I was playing my Pokemon Crystal version. And Ninjask. If you have a Pokeball in your party while you get this guy, I think you can get a Shed Ninja or something like that. I need to search about that. And here is a rare yes, a rare candy. And here's the shrine. Apparently, if you have both those legendary genies, you can get the third one by coming here with those two in your party. And here is Team 92 Trick Room. It's one of those moves you teach like those psychic type Pokemon. Like Alakazam and stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna surf back. Oh, why did I land? Okay, and I guess there's one more trainer because I saw some trainer playing hide and seek. So I'm gonna go visit them. It's on my dowsing machine and... Wait, how did I just find a poke? Oh, Bambi's rack! Bambi returns. I think Bambi part one, this is part two. Bambi returns. And now they have to make part three because Bambi died again. Poor Bambi! Okay, but how am I finding Pokemon? Wait, did my Machipel go off? Did it? I have no idea. Uh, must have, cause how else would Bambies and Bells appear? So wait, let's use Bat. Oh, it did. Cause I can use another one. Just... And there's the hide and seek girl, but here's a tiny mushroom first. And there's the and the blah, blah, hide and seek girl. D -d -d Don't sneak up on me! Don't sneak up! A horsey. She's a wannabe me uh Misty. Yeah, Misty. This trainer here has one water type, one fire type, and one grass type. The water type's horsey, of course. The fire type's, of course, Ponyta. Who do you think the grass type is? Bulbasaur? No, the grass type's Sunscorn. So she's sort of like a balanced trainer. If she evolved all those to the final form, this would be an amazing trainer. Just imagine that a Kingdra, a Sunflora, and a Rapidash. Thank god they never made another evolution for Rapidash, that would just suck. Well, if they could, it's, as long as it's a good idea. Not some, like, hairy piece of poop. So anyways, I'm gonna go fly to the... Beep Yose City. I'm not gonna say fuck Yose. Cause that sounds... Weird. So, now I'm gonna have, have to find the mood deleter so I can get rid of TM or HM Surf. Because usually a lot of people have train. A lot of trainers have Pokemon that surf is pretty useless against. I only use it for some trainers and to get around places. I might as well just get one of my Pokemon from my PC and teach it surf. So I'm gonna force my level 90 Mew to forget surf. Forgot to move surf completely. Really? But yes, yeah, see ya, and that was the quickest save ever. Look at this. See? It's like a slow motion. Fring.